Now, some people don't like the texture. They think it tastes like you're eating somebody else's sick. I want to get into that today. Sorry, man of the board, a ho here, along with Daryl the Fitness Penguin. He sat up again because he is the best penguin friend anybody could possibly ask for. And today we are going to be talking about protein. Probably the most talked about subject in all of weightlifting, or at least when it comes to diet. How much protein should I be eating? What protein should I get? How do I ensure I get more protein in my diet on a daily basis? And it's that point that we shall, well, talk about right now. <laughs> I didn't see you there because I was reading a book. Anyway, don't worry about that. The point is this video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that has thousands of courses to spark your creativity. I've been doing the same. I've been doing the course five ways to unlock your creative identity with my good friend and instructor, Andy J. Pizza. And look, I'm not gonna lie, I mostly chose it because of his name. I mean, who wouldn't choose Andy J. Pizza? But honestly, Andy was genuinely enthusiastic. He had a load of creative ideas. He was just shouting at me at one point. I was like, oh man, I've gotta get going. And for someone like me that makes a lot of creative video outputs, it's actually given me some brand new ideas for some content I've got coming down the line. And thanks to all of that, the first 1,000 people who go into that description down there and click the link will be given access to the Skillshare Premium Membership Package where you're gonna get all of this for free for a little bit. And even when that's done, it's only gonna cost you like 10 bucks a month. So thanks for Skillshare. Let's get on with the video. Because really, when you do first start working out and you realize how much extra protein you need to get in, it can be quite intimidating, especially because you don't just want to eat chicken breast all the time. Now, I'm all good with chicken breast, but I get it. You want some variety. And there are some really interesting and cool foods that you can put in there that are incredibly high in protein, taste really good, that are versatile, that you can mix in with other things like your protein powder. So let's just talk about it because this is six ways, six easy ways to get more protein in your diet and maybe even boost it by up to 100 grams a day. In number six is cottage cheese. Now, when I get this, I go for the fat-free kind for obvious reasons. And I'm using Joe, the fitness mascot here as some kind of a shelf. I'm not sure he'd appreciate that. But the one I get, and they're all pretty much the same, get it from your supermarket of choice. But for 100 grams of fat-free cottage cheese, it's only 62 calories. And not only that, you get 10 grams of protein. There's no fat in it, barely. And there's only 4.7 grams of carbs. So if you want to have 200 grams of cottage cheese, which I tell you is a lot. And again, you can make some nice things with it. Just go on the internet right now. We'll show you. You are getting 20 grams of protein just like that. And cottage cheese, I think, is really easy to eat. Now, some people don't like the texture. They think it tastes like you're eating somebody else's sick. I want to get into that today. I know that I brought it up, so we've just got into that. But you do you, man. If you don't want to eat cottage cheese, that's fine. But I think they are incredible macronutrients. And like, you can make dessert type things. This is going to sound disgusting, but trust me, it's good. You take some fat-free cottage cheese, you take your protein powder, you take some oats, and you put it in a blender, sometimes even the jelly, but the fat-free the fat -free jelly, don't worry about it, calorie-free jelly, and you blend it up, and it does kind of taste like you're eating a dessert. It is so good. What I implore you to do right now, if you hate cottage cheese, is go on the internet and type in special magic desserts with cottage cheese in. Type in protein desserts that feature cottage cheese. It is great. And I don't see anybody eating it because I think most people go, oh, no, it's cheese. It's not a kind of cheese. It's gone through some kind of a process. I don't know what it is, but it is filled with protein and it rocks. And number five, kind of in the same vein as cottage cheese, is 0% Greek yogurt. Right? Zero percent, sorry, zero percent fat Greek yogurt. Now, so many people still eat yogurts thinking they're healthy for you. And they are healthy for you in some respects. But I bet if you actually look at the back of the label, they are going to be packed full of sugars. That's why they taste so good. And they're also going to be packed free of fat. And they don't have any protein in it because they're not. If you move on to a zero percent fat free Greek yogurt, you're going to get, again, 100 grams is only 54 calories. 54 calories. You're going to have 200 grams and you're only just over 100 calories. There's no fat because you've got the 0% fat one. Carbohydrates are only three grams per 100 grams, but there's also 10.3 grams of protein. So it's very, very similar and very, very samey to the cottage cheese we've just talked about. And some people go, well, I don't like the taste of 0% Greek yogurt. Put your protein in it. It is this crazy substance that just accepts everything. You could even mix your protein powder with your cottage cheese with your yogurt, and you create something that looks like disgusting. Looks like disgusting, not even words. It looks like disgusting. Like that's some person that lives down the road, but I think it tastes really good. And again, it's such a good diet gym protein hack for you to get more protein in your diet. Because if you are eating Muller yogurts or something like that, because you like the taste of yogurt, you can do this. Hey, if you want to put some strawberries in there, you can do it. Strawberries are fine. Strawberries are low in calories, not going to help you with your protein that we're talking about today. But you should be eating Greek yogurt. If you're just looking for an easy way to get more protein in your diet, and you don't just want to go meat, 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 meat all the time. Trust me, try it. Love it. I'm not even sponsored by them yet. In number four is liquid egg whites. Now, liquid egg whites are great because 
You don't want to eat the egg yolk, you know, if you're trying to lose weight or whatever because it's full of fat. You know, you should be having some egg yolks, but that's a different video for a different time. But you, we all know that eggs are a great source of protein. Of course we do. That's been said for years. It's been going back to, to the Rocky days where he used to crack open his eggs and drink it raw. Now, you can actually drink liquid egg white straight from the carton if you want, because that's just the modern world we live in. I don't think that you should, because I don't think it's particularly nice. But they're so easy to cook. They barely take any time. You can just pour them into a saucepan or whatever and cook them up in around about two, three minutes. And it's just so easy. It's so easy. Like, so if the reason you're not getting more protein in your diet is because of time, you can do this. If it's because you're sick of food, you can do this. It just it, Again, we talk, we're talking about versatility. These are some of the most versatile food that you can eat. Well, not versatile, but they're accessible. They're accessible and they're easy. And it actually is easier to sort out your protein from liquid egg whites as opposed to a real egg. Because you can only guess how much protein is in, a, in an egg white because no one actually knows. So they all weigh different things. But again, the ones I've got, I've got up right here. It is 10 grams of protein per 100 grams. So if you want 30 grams, you smash out 300 grams of that. You know there's no fat. No fat in it because there's no yolk. It's pure egg whites. And you can get these anywhere. I get mine off the internet because they're a little bit cheaper. But supermarkets and grocery stores, they're all selling them now. They have come so far. Just check them out. Give them a go. They taste just like eggs. It's not like you're eating some kind of you know, egg that was made in a laboratory. It's just liquid egg white, but somebody put it into a bowl. In number three is canned tuna. Now, I know most of us are probably eating canned tuna, and it is super dry, but do not forget how good it is for you. Per 100 grams, again, this is in spring water too. You can get it in sunflower oil. You can get it in brine. I mean, if you want to keep it as healthy as possible and more protein focused, you want to make sure it's in spring water. But for 100 grams, it is 0.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, and the protein is 27 grams and only 113 calories for those 100 grams. So, you know, if you, again, this is all about finding different, sort of almost hacking your way to getting more protein. You can just get a can of tuna. I mean, it's 100 grams and a can of tuna is... I'm not going to be able to find it now. No, my phone is just freaked out. I don't know how much. Uh, I think it's 145 grams-ish. So say 150 grams on a can of tuna. So straight away there, you've got around about 40 grams of protein, a little bit more. If you really can't handle how dry it is, and some people can't. I've seen some people heave trying to drink tuna. You can just go and get your, you know, your Warden Farms, calorie, almost calorie-free sauces. So you can put some ketchup in there. You can put some barbecue sauce in there, some mayonnaise. Again, if you're using the right amount of those sauces, they're only going to have about four, five, six, seven calories in it. That's not going to make a huge difference to your diet at all. And also, if it, you like it, you know, trying to find ways that you like food when you're on a diet, that's more important still. So don't skip on canned tuna. Honestly, unless you absolutely hate the taste and don't like fish, then of course, don't suffer through it. But if you're really struggling to meet whatever your daily protein ratios may be, it's so easy to do. And you don't have to cook it. It just comes out of a can. It's super cheap. You can get them for great. In my local supermarket, you can get one of these, you know, these cans. It tastes really, well, it tastes fine. It doesn't taste any worse than the more expensive one. Like 65p a can. 65p a can. You can't say fairer than that. Number two is boiled eggs. Now, while I think liquid egg whites are better for everything we talked about having no yolk, this is more for people that like to snack. You can take 10 eggs, right? And you can put them in your saucepan and you can boil them on a Sunday and they will keep in the fridge all week. So when you do feel like you need a bit of a snack, you don't have to reach for a chocolate bar. You don't have to reach for a bag of sweets. You don't have to reach for whatever your, you know, bad food of choice is. You can just go have an egg, right? You can have an egg. And I actually think a boiled egg tastes really nice. I truly, truly do. And because it's just there, right? This is the key. Because it's like most people eat a chocolate bar because it's just there and it's easy. And of course, because it tastes good. But there is no preparation time apart from undo the wrapper. And if you can't be bothered to undo the wrapper, then you're not going to eat it anyway. If you know you can just go to your fridge and have a protein-based meal right there and then... It's going to make it easier for you. And again, you're going to be able to increase your protein. And yes, they've got a yolk in there. There's about six to seven grams of fat. But you can either just not eat it. <laughs> you can eat around the yolk, should you so wish. But this is more about the accessibility thing. Because I totally get it. When you just want a snack, or if it's late at night too, you look for all these bad things that are just there and then. Well, a bald egg, that can fit into that. And then you won't be eating, I don't know, Cheetos. Although I get how good Cheetos are. And number one is the most obvious one, but it's whey protein, right? Never forget that whey protein is a supplement, so you should be eating real foods too. You know, you're supplementing it on top. But the fact that from one scoop of most whey proteins, you're going to get around about 25 grams to 30 grams of protein. I mean, how easy is that? If you're eating three square meals a day, and let's say you're doing the whole, I'm getting 50 grams of protein for each, 100 grams of protein. All you need to do is smash out two protein shakes a day. So one scoop in the morning and one scoop in the afternoon. And you've boosted it up to 200 grams if you're a 200 pound human being. And you're going for the whole one gram of whatever that stupid equation is. 
There's a reason they've become so popular. There's a reason people try and incorporate them into their diet. If you really struggle with food, can you over rely on them? Yes, you can. There are certain pro bodybuilders that do this, and there are certain pro bodybuilders that don't. Jay Cutler, who used to eat like 10 meals a day, Mr. Olympia, former Mr. Olympia, he said that you know he wanted real food, and there are there is more nutrients in it. But if your sole goal is to get more protein in, and you're struggling to get it from a meal. Do not worry about relying on whey protein shakes. Don't get 100% of your protein from them. I don't think that would be a good idea at all. Uh, it's also just is better to get them from real food because, again, it's real food. They've got nutrients in. But don't skimp on them. Right? There's always one person in the comments going, whey protein is so overrated. It's not overrated. It's not underrated. It's just the thing. It just exists. You know, as the fitness craze got bigger, companies that wanted to make money realized, well, if we can somehow come up with a powder that just shakes in a shaker with water, that people can drink it more protein, that's probably going to be popular. And it was because people were struggling to get their protein in. So just do it. Have it a couple of times a day. Have it after you work out. Have it when you wake up. Have it whenever the hell you want. Use it. That's the whole point. Use it in order to get to where you want to go. Don't punish yourself and don't suffer. There you go. Six easy ways to get more protein in your diet that hopefully literally are easy and require no work on your end. That's what I wanted to do for you today. Then like the video, share the video, and subscribe. You can leave a comment below. Uh, there's a bell there. Ding, ding. Click that so then you'll be notified when other videos go live. There is another video right there right now. Give it a click should you so wish. Otherwise, Instagram and Twitter is at Simon316. Patreon.com for us at Simon316. Should you want to support the channel financially? Big Cartel? No. Simon.BigCartel.com for merchandise. But otherwise, keep smashing your diet. Get your protein in. Don't do rhythms on your hands. I can't rhyme that. It's just really annoying. See you soon.